गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर टॉपिक ऑफ एंजाइम्स टूडेज कॉम्पिटेंसी इज कॉम्पिटेंसी नंबर टू पॉइंट सिक्स हेयर वी आर स्टडिंग एनालिटिकल यूजेस ऑफ एंजाइम्स और यूज ऑफ एंजाइम इन द लेबोरेटरी हाउ वी आर यूजिंग एंजाइम्स इन द लेबोरेटरी इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंजाइम बेस्ड असे इन दिस वी आर स्टडिंग द various uses of enzyme in the laboratory particularly for the estimation of various analytes in the blood for example estimation of plasma glucose now here two enzymes are mainly used they are glucose oxidase and peroxidase the short form is god pod Now this is most commonly used method for estimation of plasma glucose. Now in this case, the enzyme glucose oxidase acts on the glucose present in plasma and convert that glucose into glucuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide. Now another enzyme called peroxidase acts on hydrogen peroxide and convert it into water and nascent oxygen. Here you should. remember that the concentration of nascent oxygen formed in this case depends upon the concentration of glucose in the plasma if glucose is present in more concentration the more nascent oxygen is formed now this nascent oxygen combines with four amino antipyrin and phenol present in the reagent and convert it them into quinonemin di which is red in color so more the nascent oxygen more the di formation and the uh, the compound will get more red color so in this case at the end of the reaction the red color is measured with the help of colorimeter it is a instrument which measures the color in optical density so the how much red color is form is measured so if the glucose is more in the pl plasma then more nascent oxygen is formed and if the nascent oxygen is more automatically the di formation is more and the color will be more red or the intensity of the color is more so by measuring the intensity of the color we can estimate the amount of glucose present in the plasma by an after a per, uh, appropriate calculations so in this way the plasma glucose is measured with the help of two enzymes glucose oxidase and peroxidase and hence the name of the method is god pod method or glucose oxidase peroxidase method now we will see one more example that is estimation of urea all of you how this practical now in this case two enzymes are used one is urease this enzyme urease acts on urea and break that urea present in the serum into ammonia and carbon dioxide now this ammonia combines with alpha ketoglutarate and reduced nadh in the presence of enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase to form glutamate and nad oxidized nad now at the end of the reaction in this case we are measuring how much nad is formed so in this case all of other reagents are present in unlimited quantity except urea so the formation of nad depends upon the concentration of urea if more urea is present in serum then more nad is formed initially more ammonia is formed and that more ammonia combines with alpha ketoglutarate more alpha ketoglutarate and nadh to form more nad so by measuring the concentration of nad we can measure the concentration of urea in the serum so in this way the enzyme urease and glutamate dehydrogenase helps in the estimation of serum urea one more example is estimation of serum cholesterol 
this is also a practical in your uh, you have to perform in the exam so in this case three enzymes are used first enzyme is cholesterol esterase which acts on cholesterol esters present in the blood in the blood cholesterol is present in two forms free cholesterol as well as cholesterol ester now this enzyme cholesterol esterase acts on cholesterol esters and convert that cholesterol ester into free cholesterol and fatty acid now free fat free cholesterol which is formed and also the free cholesterol which is already present in the blood combines with oxygen in the presence of enzyme cholesterol oxidase to form hydrogen peroxide and cholesterol now this hydrogen peroxide is acted upon by another enzyme peroxidase in the presence of two more reagents four amino antipyrene and dhsba sodium 35 dichloro 2 hydroxy benzene sulfonate and gives rise to again the same quinonemine di which is red in color here also the formation of this red color depends upon the formation of hydrogen peroxide and the formation of hydrogen peroxide depends upon the amount of cholesterol free cholesterol present in the serum so indirectly by measuring the color of the dye with the help of an instrument colorimeter we can able to estimate the serum cholesterol levels so these three enzymes helps us in the laboratory for estimation of serum cholesterol levels now these are few examples of various enzymes and their uses in laboratory god pod just we have studied use in the estimation of plasma glucose ureas also we have studied use for estimation of serum urea uricase it is an enzyme used in the laboratory for estimation of serum uric acid cholesterol oxidase just now we have studied which helps us in estimation of serum cholesterol level lipase is an another enzyme which helps in the estimation of serum triglyceride levels alkaline phosphatases are used in elisa test restriction endonucleases are used in various blotting techniques like southern blot reverse transcriptase is one more enzyme which is used in polymerase chain reaction so these are few examples of the enzymes used in laboratory as a reagent there are many more enzymes they are also used in laboratory as a reagent you can add to the list but these are the most commonly used enzymes in the biochemistry laboratory this ends your topic of use of enzyme as a laboratory agent thank you very much